What's up fellow learners? Welcome back to the Learners Club. I'm Jay and this is Speak English with Jay. Have you all ever heard someone say or just read it somewhere that nothing ever starts unless it's finished? Like when you want to construct a house, you have to have the plan. You just don't wake up and say, oh my god, I want to start out and start building immediately. No, that's not how it works. You need a plan to construct the house. That also applies to English. You just don't wake up one day and say, oh my God, I wanna study English, then start studying. You need to have a plan. So today I'm gonna to share with you my English study plan, because I'm also a learner and you also a learner. So that is something we have in common. So if you're a learner out there and you're like, oh my God, I don't know where to start. I wanna study English so much. I love English, but I don't know how to do it. Where should I start? What should I do? What should I study? How do I do it? Don't worry, because today I'm gonna to share with you my study plan. So let's just start with the definition of a study plan. What is an English study plan? So a study plan is just an organized schedule outlining your study times and your learning goals. What time am I gonna study and what are the learning goals that I wanna achieve after I finish studying? English is a broad language and I divided my study plan in what I really wanted to know about English when it comes to reading, speaking, listening, or even just the vocabulary, the grammar. So that's what you're gonna include in your study plan, the grammar, what you wanna know, you wanna know the grammar, you wanna know the vocabulary, you wanna know how to read, you wanna know how to write in English, you wanna know how to listen and speak in English. So that is what your English study plan is gonna include. This is what I do on Mondays. So on Mondays, I basically dedicate Mondays to vocab, to vocabulary, the English vocabulary. So I don't know what time you'll wake up, but I wake up at 7 a.m. At around 7.30, I sit down. This is when I study vocabulary, new vocabulary. I make sure my study or learning goals is to add or to learn at least five, five new vocabularies. So this is how you can learn. So basically what I do is just, I just go to Pinterest. Pinterest are really helpful app. Yo, if you don't have Pinterest, you all better download it. So I go to Pinterest and just type search um, English vocabulary or just new English vocabularies. And there's tons of English vocabularies that you need. It will bring you and you will learn a lot. So that is basically what I do on Monday. So I just make sure that I learn at least five new English vocabularies to get me through my day. On Tuesdays, I dedicate it to reading, reading English books, reading English channels, reading English magazines, Instagram captions. I read. You don't have to confine reading to just books or novels or just anything. So one thing about reading, I want you to always read something that is more relatable to you, something that you enjoy. If you love sports, read something about sports. If you like cooking, read something about cooking. If you love um, fashion, read something about fashion. On Wednesday, I do grammar. This is where I get to learn about the past, the present, and future tenses. Um, I get to learn about the A and the the article. I get to learn about the English speeches. I get to learn about the verbs, the noun, the adverb, the preposition, just everything grammar. My Wednesdays are fully dedicated to grammar. On Thursdays, uh, I, I write, I write, I write. I journal my day, what did I love, what was my best part of the day. Just make it about yourself because it's easier and relatable. This way you, you just want to write anything about yourself, something or just write about a book you love or just write about something you love or just your dog, your family, yourself. So writing also kind of improves your thinking. So you, when you're writing in English, you obviously gonna have to think in english what did i do today i went to the grocery store what did i get i got some avocados i got some lettuce fridays 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 
So Fridays, I listen and speak. And you can listen to your favorite podcasts, your favorite movie shows, your favorite English music. So I choose listening and speaking on Fridays because this is where you get to socialize with friends. You get to talk to them about what they're doing, how their week was. And it's just the best day to listen and speak to others what you've learned throughout the, you've learned throughout the week. You want to share it out to friends who want to listen to you. So basically just listen and speak in English. So that is all about my study plan. And I hope it is helpful. I hope it gives you the insight to make your own study plan in English. And see you in my next video. Bye.